Hey guys, Lachlan here from Cowboy for Game, and just real quick before we start the video, something like 80 percent of the people watching this right now aren't subscribed so if you do enjoy our content please make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell really helps us out and on with the video guys Lachlan here from Cowboy for Game and today I bring you Jake and you've got a deck that is very very good right now what is, is it it is invoked because it's all I do. Um, this time with Dogmatica. I nearly called them a thing that they're not anymore. Dogmatica. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, obviously, we start with three Alistar. Yeah. He is the bestest boy. Then you have the best... Play three while you can. Uh, <laughs> uh, then we have the bestest girl, three Ecclesia. Yeah. Uh, search is your Dogmatica stuff. Can't be destroyed by extra deck stuff. She's pretty good. And specials herself when she has uh, Macabre on board. Yep. Then we have uh, two Fleur de Lis. Um, yep. I have been tempted to bump that up to three, but haven't tried with it yet. At the moment, I can justify two is okay. Uh, then we have three Ash Blossom. One of them Ultra, and I hate it. Uh, two Ghost Ogre. Yep. Uh, then we have the Cyframe Package. Uh, so this is in there to deal with, well, any monster that's annoying really but also for um, anyone running Zekul um, so that you can hopefully do some plays bait it out and then get rid of it yeah um, it has come up a couple times well actually I haven't burst any um, Zekul players since I put it in but it has come up a couple times um, obviously because it just negates anything um, then we move on to the spells we have the three meltdown we have the three invocation Ooh. Um, the reason I'm running three, a lot of this is because they're ulties and you own three of them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, it, let's be it real. It's do be like that, but it's also because I am running two desires. Oh, yeah. Because they you, they're also ulties. They are also ulties. <laughs> um, I, I can't justify running a third. I've never you had fucking been hype beast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it do be like that. Do you own three, sorry, of the, the desires? Yeah, I just don't run a third. Um... You, you play sets of things, even if you don't run them. Uh, then we have free call by. Are these ulties? <laughs> Not yet. Um, maybe one day. It, could, it probably deserves an ulti, right? It probably could be an ulti. Like, that'd be, it'd be pretty Listen big. to the podcast. We'll talk about this, maybe. Maybe we already have. Maybe we never will. <laughs> or or like equal like <laughs> equal possibility. Place your bets. Uh, we have three Nadir Servant. Yep. Uh, searches your stuff and puts extra stuff in the bin, which is lovely. Really good. Um, also recurs from grave, which is something to point out as well, because sometimes you run out. Uh, then we have uh, two tactics and two droplets. Oh, I love it. Um, this is definitely right. Is this right? Yeah. That has been very good at two. Yeah. Because yeah. originally, like when I was running the deck last week, it was more going second build and I was running three of each. Awful. Okay. Um, this was depending too much on your opponent to do things, and with Eldritch in the um, fray, their initial responses might not be um, monster effects, so you need to play other things, and that's why I'm now playing the Desires. Um, Droplets has been incredibly handy, um, being able to use something, bait out in the gate, and then use that to get rid of the card you use to try and bait it out. Um, yeah, I can't, can't speak highly enough for Droplets, but three is too many to run in the main deck. Okay. With Druid Dream coming out by the time people oh, are watching yeah. this Nolan video. TCG is here, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. the chat just by a second. Yeah, 100%. Um, Forbidden Droplets will be insane once uh, Druid Dream comes out. Non-targeting negate, so you can definitely bait out whatever needs to be baited out. And then just and attack continue drop. playing. And attack it makes drop. no sense that it doesn't target. Yeah. I've had this I've had this talk. Choose. It just Don't doesn't target. make sense. Just choose. Uh, <laughs> So. But, like, just say, you can target, but for the sake of, oops, <laughs> you can target, but for the sake of it, you, it's not targeting. Like, it's... Just, In like, fairness, you do have to give up resources. Like, it also helps that sometimes... You have to give up resources like, every time you activate a card. Well, no, because if it was a targeting card, you'd only be giving up the one card. Moving on. <laughs> um, then we have Terraforming for the last spell, yep. which is your skill spell. Um... 
We pot, know of, pot of greed also draws two. Um, then we have three infinite impermanence. Void trap. Yep. Yeah. You need some extra negate. Uh, then we have the dogmatic of punishment for a bit of extra destruction, which is always nice. Just, are you sure that's one? Like, if it like Sorry. perfect at one? Um, that I've, that I have card is mental. So the only reason that I'm playing it at one is because it does lock you out of the extra deck until the end of your next turn. Yeah. So it's very selective when you play it, and realistically, you search it when you want it. Yeah. Okay. Because if you're using the deer. Deal will search you Ecclesia, Ecclesia can search you the trap, and then if you've sent in the Titan Dragon, or whatever it's called, Titanoclad, you just search the Fleur de Lis in the end phase. I'm pretty so sure. I think one is okay, like you could probably afford to side a second if you want, but I don't think yeah. it's worth running to in the main. I'm pretty sure Jono beat me tonight because he ran two of those in the main. Probably yeah. also runs two enters, and I don't, so like... He absolutely did, and the Wind Pegasus thing. Yeah, which I'll get to God, in a minute. I hate that card. I yeah. love it. Let's see this 40th card. Skid him. Oh, yeah. Uh, for <laughs> your Shadol lock. No one saw it coming. Yeah, I know. Who would have imagined that Dogmatica would run this? It's insane. Uh, then we go on to the extra. So, we have three of Makaba. Yep. I have the list I actually started building this from was only running one, which I find one? insane. I don't know how you. I don't know how you play with one. One is done. Do not run one. Run three. Make them secret. Um, <laughs> it's not a uh, secret if you got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one TCG can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Purgatorio for running over. Hopefully things with low defense, which is always fun. Um, or Grady's. Yep. Insane card. Yeah, like, no, it's very good. Pushes through boards and all kinds of things. So good. Um, the card you need to build your board. Almirage, now the second best one. Before you needed it for Mech Knights, but now you need it for this boy. To make Macabre. To then summon the Ecclesia. Blah, 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 blah. Does this have, like, anything besides it being a light that you can make off Almirage? Protects from damage. Does anyone yeah. care? Like, it's just, like, has this ever been used in a way that wasn't to make Macabre? Well, it's, uh, it's legitimately. <laughs> I played it once in a Treasure Panda Exodia deck oh because my God. like you could co-link it with Firewall. <laughs> Jesus, back to this video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, then we have uh, Titanoclad for your end phase searches. Yep, that's all it's there for. You don't summon this. Um, we also have Entus for popping. You also don't summon this. Uh, we have the Shadol package, so you've got Apcolone, Winda for the Schism, and Joel Construct. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely pause on that Construct. Fuck me. It's pretty. It's so pretty. I only just picked that up too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I have been in a match where summoning the um, Construct was actually very helpful because I got to send the Makala and then I could just keep popping all the ones that they summoned because um, I think they were out of Macabres at that point but more often than not like the the general combo if you're running Maximus in the main is to um, use like Apcolone sends effectively the Schism to Grave and then um, your Construct will add it back yep. um, but yeah the I'll go into that in a second too uh, then we have uh, Omega you can summon this but generally you don't yeah um that like it's handy if your gamma resolves and then you can summon Omega because it's funny. Omega's always funny. Ha ha ha. Wind Pegasus. This, although it can technically be summoned, it is not there for summoning. Uh, it's just there for the graveyard effect, which is when something's destroyed of yours, banish it to shuffle something back into the deck. That card is so dumb. It is real dumb. Like, that makes if you no manage, sense If you manage me. to summon it, it is a non-target pop of Stolen Trap, which is nice. Um, but but yeah, second it's second effect is where it's like... The second effect is the busted. main reason why it's played. And then finally, the Nova for your mirror matches, for yeah. when people make you use Maximus. Um, Are those so, offers worth anything yet? Uh, not yet, but probably more so later on, I guess. But uh, I suppose it was a structured deck card, so it may not be I'm worth... I'm sitting on, like, three. <laughs> well, fingers crossed for what you. What an investment. Structure deck holsters. On, on the stocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got that. That was incredible. Stonks. 
Um, so the one question that probably gets raised in this profile is why there's no Maximus. Um, the reason why there's no Maximus in this is because every one of our decks is run, running either cards in their extra deck to exploit Maximus, or because everyone's running um, this deck. So again, running their Novas, their Fingos, their Titanic Lads, so you're giving them pluses. So I side this um, when I know that I'm versing decks that won't be able to exploit it. Yeah. That checks. Does, that makes sense. Does it affect your schism at all? No. It just means that um, the app cologne sent, like, rather than sending the schism, it sends something else. Okay. So it means that I might lose another resource in hand, but yeah. it just depends on, like, what's going on in my hand. Okay. Sometimes I won't go for the schism first turn if I don't think that I'll have the resources to maintain a board okay. otherwise. Check this friend is making you look buff, you know. <laughs> you look big. <laughs> <laughs> First time and only time in my life. Um, what about the side deck? Uh, we don't do side decks here. Yeah! <laughs> I asked just for... <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Side decks are arbitrary. Like, I'm at locals, so I know what I'm There's doing. no, like, specific card in the side deck that is, like, no. to that deck. There's a tech, a secret tech that beats us all that he doesn't want to tell us. That's it, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, from looking at it. Yeah. Just sprawl it out. Anything, mine? <laughs> You and your side decks. Like, that's that's as spicy as it gets. Like, there's a Pankratops, there's an Nibiru set. Like, that's, that's yeah. it. And then I side, like, the other tactics and the other droplets. Yeah. Okay. Really not spicy at all. Well. That was a deck. Yeah, that was a deck. Um, if a you whole have any... deck. <laughs> Except for the side. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you have any questions or if there's anything you feel I should be playing, feel free to comment below. Uh, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Awesome. Stonks. Stonks. <laughs> <laughs>